Imagine transforming your images by simply typing exactly what you want. Tweak hairstyles, update outfits, adjust poses, or modify text effortlessly, all while keeping every detail realistic and professional. That's exactly what this Quen workflow and comfy UI can do. All right, let's not waste any time. Before we can start editing, we need to set up the workflow, and that means downloading a few files first. The good news is this workflow only needs four of them. The main Quen Image Editing FP8 model, the Lightning Laura that makes edits fast in just eight steps, a VAE, and the text encoder. But if you're on a smaller GPU, don't worry. We also have a section on our website that covers how to get the GGUF workflow up and running, which is much lighter on VRAM. Once you've downloaded those four files, files, just drop them into the right comfy UI folders, and if you're not sure where they go, check the written guide below. I've linked all the downloads and the exact folder structure. With that out of the way, the next step is to download the workflow JSON from our site. After downloading, simply drag and drop it onto the comfy UI canvas, and the full setup will load instantly. Now, if you see any red nodes, don't panic. That just means you're missing some custom nodes. To fix that, open the Manager tab, click Install Missing Custom Nodes, and once it finishes, restart Comfy UI. When everything reloads correctly, you're ready to move on and run your very first Quen image edit. Now that everything is set up, let's actually put Quen to work. Just make sure you have the correct FP8 Quen image editing model selected, and of course the text encoder, VAE, and the correct LoRa are selected inside the nodes. For this example, we're using an image of this girl that we previously generated with Flux Dev. Our goal is to edit the image so we get a close-up shot of her smiling, changing both the framing and her expression. When typing your prompt, be specific about what you would like to keep the same and what you want to change. In our case, we want to keep all facial features, hairstyle, outfit, background, and lighting the same, but adjust the framing to a close-up of her face and shoulders, and give her a big, joyful smile with sparkling eyes while keeping it photorealistic with soft, cinematic lighting. Since our input image has a 1 to 1 ratio, we'll keep that same ratio here, but there's a drop-down menu in the Image Resizer node that lets you choose different aspects ratios. Perfect if you want to change the original image to a new aspect ratio. Next, check the case sampler settings. 8 steps, CFG set to 1, Euler as the sampler, and the scheduler set to simple. Once everything is ready, click run and Quen will generate the edited close-up smiling image in just a few seconds. Boom! And just like that, we've got a perfect close-up shot. The framing is tighter, the expression is changed, and everything else stays exactly as we asked. Same style, same details, just a brand new version of the image. You can see how simple it is. Load your image, write a clear prompt, hit run, and Quen does the heavy lifting for you. All right, let's try another example. This time, we're going to change the outfit of the woman and leave everything else exactly the same. Pose, hair, background, and lighting all stay consistent. All you need to do is type in your new prompt describing the outfit, make sure the nodes are still correctly set up, and click run again. In just a few seconds, Quen will generate the updated image with the new outfit applied seamlessly. Amazing, right? With Quen Image Editing, you can easily update outfits, add objects to the scene, change the background, and more all by simply typing what you want. Now that you've seen how to edit existing images, it's time to get creative and try animating the frames you've just created. For example, I was testing out the WAN 2.2 first last frame workflow using the initial image and the one with the updated outfit to create a smooth dynamic animation in between. And it turned out really amazing. I'll leave links to the YouTube video and the written tutorial for the WAN 2.2 workflow in the description so you can check it out yourself. Don't hesitate to give it a try. You might be surprised at what you can create. All right, thanks so much for watching. Hope you learned something new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.